good afternoon everyone in the last some lectures associated with the uv visible spectroscopy we have learned a uh, single beam spectrophotometer now in this lecture we will going to learn double beam instrument or double beam spectrophotometer now here is some theory is associated with the double beam instrument now here in the double beam instrument monochromator is used with the help of this monochromator the light source is divided into two parts this light source is divided into two parts with the help of v shaped silver mirror or you can say reflecting mirror and again this mirror is passed uh, this these two uh, radiations of of same wavelength is passed through the sample cell and reference cell where sample cell and reference cell uh, there is a uh, a transmitted beam of light is uh, recorded from the sample cell and reference cell this recording system is nothing but the two photomultiplier tubes are placed parallel to reference cell and sample cell the transmitted light is then fed to the amplifier system and finally read out or display system so this is the basic principle of the double beam instrument now here is theory is associated with the double beam instrument is given modern spectrophotometers have double beam design which is given below the double beam spectrometer consists of same some basic same basic elements that of the single beam elements now here single beam elements uh, have same uh, we can say there are uh, some components which are also similar in double beam instrument but the monochromatic beam of radiation is divided into two parts in single beam instrument monochromatic mon monochromator is used but there is only one radiation is involved but in double beam instrument there are two radiations are involved from the monochromator but the monochromatic beam of radiation is divided into two parts one part is passing through the sample solution while another part another part of radiation passes through the reference solution finally both transmitted beam are detected by using photomultiplier tube detector now pmt photomultiplier tube is detected they as is used as a detector in uh, double beam instrument here from the monochromator two light red two light two wavelength of radiations are passed on the reference cell and sample cell the transmitted beam of light from the reference cell and sample cell is measured with the help of photomultiplier tube in the next paragraph in double beam v shaped reflecting mirror is used to split monochromatic beam of light into two parts then this splitted beam of beams are reflected by mirror system so mirror system is there now this splitted beam of light is again divided into two parts one part of radiation pass one through the sample solution and another through this reference solution pair of matched photo detectors that is photomultiplier tubes is used to detect the transmitted beam separately the output of two photo detectors is computed and displayed on the output device so this is all about the double beam instrument here is a typical block diagram of double beam spectrophotometer is given here light source is used the light source is uh, gives the uh, radiations now slit is used to obtain obtain the narrow and parallel beam of light now the monochromator is used to identify the radiation of particular or identical wavelength so monochromatic light gives the identical wavelength of radiation now these radiations are again passing through the another slit and finally on the v shaped mirror this is a v shaped mirror now from this mirror v shaped mirror which acts as a reflecting mirror the two radiations the two parts again two parts of radiations are divided further and again they are uh, reflected with the with the help of two mirrors they are, this is first mirror and this is a second mirror the first mirror and the second mirror again converts that uh, reflects the radiation towards the sample cell and a reference cell now this sample cell and reference cell is placed in the path of 
light reflecting from the mirrors. Now here the sample is placed, sample solution is placed, where solution is placed in the cell or cuvette. Now the solution absorbs some of the radiation and the remainder is again uh, given out to the detector. Now the remainder is nothing but the transmitted light. This transmitted light is detected by the photomultiplier tube which acts as a detector kept, uh, uh, kept in front of the sample cell and reference cell. Now here amplification system is there and finally readout device is there. The output of two photo detectors is computed and displayed on the output devices. Now here the most important thing is that uh, the measurement uh, we can say so the sample spectrum and reference spectrum is obtained. Now whatever the interference is obtained from the source that will be subtracted from the sample cell with the help of reference uh, sample spectrum with the help of reference spectrum. So we can say that is a working principle and uh, construction of uh, double wind spectrum photometer. So this is all about the double wind spectrum photometer where two uh, beams are uh, recognized from the monochromator and this two beam of, uh, beam of light is again passed through the sample cell and reference cell where transmitted light is detected with the help of photomultiplier tube and finally readout device or you can say computer control service is there to give the absorbance or percentage transmittance in the form of re uh, reading. With this content, I conclude this lecture. Thank you very much for your patience listening.